<laughs> All right, we're here with uh, another episode of Diamond Dialogue. This time we're doing it from a remote location, so got a little bit of quality issues hopefully not going on. But uh, then I, I, in any event, I'm joined by Jackie Hearn from the, the chat realm. To welcome, Jackie. Thank you so you much. Say hi. It's, such, it's, okay to it's such an honor to... to um, <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> is it? Are you sure? Uh, no, it's, it's yeah. such an honor. Thank you so much for asking me. Or, or I think I kind of said, hey, I'll, I'll be interested. Because your show is yeah, fucking amazing. What you've done here is absolutely great. I love what you're doing. Because there's so many wonderful, talented people in chat room that do, th do real concrete things. Not just fuck around with, you know, glue sticks and, you know, uh, <laughs> puppet hair. But, I mean, real, real, we've got authors, we've got musicians, we've got people who have been doing great things, and I, I think it's uh, kudos to you. A, a big round of applause, chat room applause, uh, oh. to Tinvec for doing this. Thank you, thank you. No, 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 no keep it, you know. <laughs> 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 uh, it's, well, no, thank you very much. I'm, I'm glad to have you here. But for anybody that doesn't know, we'll, we'll jump right in with the questions. Who the hell okay. are you and how did you get here? You already said a little of how you got here, but you can talk about, you know, your first inter experiences with chat room and stuff, too. Do I talk about, oh, okay, so not not when did my parents meet and then get drunk over a bottle of sangria and, yeah, no, okay, so you mean, Depends like, how, how did I... How long you want the story to be? <laughs> no, um, I found, um, I've been a huge fan of, um... You know, Kevin Rose, Sarah Lane, uh, Leo Laporte, all of that since way back in the day of screensavers. Um, oh, and, you know, followed them through G4, like the whole story that everyone says. Um, I didn't necessarily keep up with Twit, um, you know, as often for a while. I mean, I was extremely busy. But then but then I went through a kind of a, a hard, basically a divorce and I had to move and change my life, and I started watching it, um, uh, Twit, and then I d very quickly discovered NSFW because I love comedy. I've been a big comedy oh, fan yeah. my entire life. Um, the best thing in the world to me is Mr. Show with Bob and David. I feel like <laughs> Brian and Justin are the new Bob and David, and bit, they, yeah. they, they're... They, <laughs> They're the cutting edge. I mean, because they're so interactive in the way that we can all participate and communicate and give give back. Uh, I think that that's such a great thing. Um, so, anyways, yeah, I, that, I that's how I found that. that's how I found NSFW. Uh, awesome, that's great. I was I was a and worker you're, you're... for a long time, and then I picked up a name, um, you know, later on. Later, on, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I did the yeah. same. I, I tend to lurk and things like that too, but. Um, but speaking of the name Jackie Hearn, where, where did you get your chat handle? Uh, well, you know, it was kind of a necessity because I, I don't know that you're familiar, but um, I recorded the entire Diamond Club novel, which you can <laughs> listen to if you want to. Please don't. Um, Please. <laughs> but, but people asked me to keep it there just so we have a full recording, although I think somebody right. like Leo Laporte should have read the novel. You know, or pa Padre no. SJ oh has been God. mentioned. Oh, they would be great to read the Diamond <laughs> just, just Club. Just another thing to get him kicked out of his priesthood. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I mean, I did, uh, I did research by uh, listening as much as I could, fucking stand of Fifty Shades of Grey to try and emulate oh, yeah. the the voice of that uh, novel, and that's where I was coming from. So I read the book, but I mean, I have a real job. Uh, one where, you know, politics are involved, and it would not be a good thing for me to be known as the person who read the Diamond Club uh, novel, a sex book on the internet, uh, the internet yeah. like that. So I created the name Jackie Hearn, only intending to do it for the Diamond Club. Uh, but then I kept coming back into chat every Tuesday night, and you know, people n knew me through that, so I just started talking to people, and then it was like I developed friendships with so many of you wonderful people that I, um, you know, it's like I, I'm, I'm now like a legitimate person <laughs> in a way, <laughs> even even though it's that's not my real name. Um, but I picked the name. I, I picked the name because uh, I took the last name of a woman who was an attorney that I used to have to work with on a project who was horrible. 
And then I just picked Jackie randomly. But I wanted to pick a name yeah. that seemed legitimate because I have um, – I've done a lot – I used to be kind of famous on Stick'em uh, years ago. And um, I got totally hacked because people got my identity. I got uh, oh, yeah. abused in the worst ways. And so the, what I do know, and I highly suggest to any woman on the internet uh, that – you be extremely cautious about your identity. And picking a name that sounds real makes people believe that they've got the right person when they don't. Right. So so I apologize to all you real Jackie Hearns out there. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, that's, it works. And that's even goes more towards the, the realism there. So no, that's that's yeah. really that's an interesting uh interesting origin story yeah. for for the name. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry it was too yeah. long too, but yeah, it's like I said. There's, there's no real time. I don't care. <laughs> some, of these other, some of your other questions, I'm sure I won't. You know, but yeah, yeah. you know, it can be a short answer. But yeah, speaking of, let's move on to the uh, the the one that tells a lot about you. I think uh, actually, I think that the planet one does more. But let's. Uh, you're okay. stranded on a desert island. You only get three movies until you're rescued in 30 years or or die of dehydration in three days. So, <laughs> what what movies are those? Um. This is terrible. Uh, I, I've been thinking about it all day, and it's been really hard for me. There's so many great movies that I like, but uh, de one of my favorite all-time movies um, that I can watch again and again and again is *Fear and Loathing* um, in Las Vegas. Uh, the so one, you know, the, right? Um, and that's that's something I come back to and watch every year. I, I guess because I just had such a great time. Um, Learning about Hunter S. Thompson and um, with friends, uh, we were all, you know, really big into Hunter S. Thompson. And uh, <laughs> but if I had to pick a movie, okay, see now, can I can instead of a movie, could I pick like maybe a DVD of a TV show series instead? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Show yeah, with Bob it, and David. Something that would, so, so oh. something that would fit on a DVD. Or, yes. or ish, you know, and movie size. So, so you know, like a half a season or a season of a, you know, of a half hour show. Oh God! Which I would say probably season three, but Mister Show with Bob and David. Uh, <laughs> I can never, I you know, I pride myself on Twitter that I constantly just reference Mister Show with Bob and David. It's it's the one of the right. greatest comedy um, groups ever. Um, and. Um, but if I had to pick a season, because there's like three CDs, one was like, like a double CD, I, I would say probably season three. Um, but um, definitely uh, something I cannot, I could, I could not survive if I couldn't ever go back. And, you know, when I talk to people on the Internet, on Twitter, and someone says something, I want to make a reference. I'll go in, I'll find a clip <laughs> on YouTube and say, you right. know, <laughs> rape is coming. You're, you're that rape. person. <laughs> I'm so an, I'm so annoying like that, and I know it, but I don't care because it's so good. Um, At least it's not. And the then wire, I guess, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I watched The Wire, but you know, and I liked it. I think The yeah. Wire is a great show, but it's not one I would take with me. Um, right. Breaking Bad, obviously, is another show that I think is absolutely fantastic. I don't know if it's one I would take with me. My third choice, I will give that to. You know what? If Gatawag, uh, Brandon Hughes, has a suggestion, I will take it. Because there's so many goddamn good movies, and he has suggested a few to me in the last uh, year or six months. And every one, I'm like, this is awesome. He's absolutely right. So, <laughs> so you'd like, I don't you'd know. like Gatawag just like reach in a bag and grab you a movie and be like, here you go. <laughs> well, yeah, but 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 for me, because I'm the the my rationale here is I'm stranded on a desert island. I would rather have something I've never seen before that's excellent. So I'll pass oh, the torch. Hey. All right, well we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, that that sounds awesome. I uh, oh. I, I like Mister Show too, but Fear and Loathing oh, yeah. is such a great movie. It's it is. seriously classic. Yeah, very it's, entertaining. And, and, yeah, and Johnny Depp does does such a great Hunter S. Thompson. It's yeah, it's. Did you hear about uncanny. how he lived with um, Hunter S. Thompson for like six months? He lived in his house oh. and, and would oh, go really? shooting with him. Yeah, I, I don't know oh how much God, you know about. Oh my God, that must have been amazing. Yes, yes. There, there are some great <laughs> clips on YouTube of Hunter S. Thompson, like on uh, the the Conan O'Brien show, 
where Conan shows up to his ranch because he had a ranch and he uh, they would just be, you know, they would just go out shooting rifles. Um, he was such an insane, awesome person and uh, it's so unfortunate the way he died. But it absolutely makes sense for him, the kind of person he was, you know, because he committed suicide. Um, yeah. And do, do you know about his funeral? Um, his funeral he had planned for years. It was actually in a documentary 10 years before oh, really? he died. He said, when I die, I want a cannon hooked up near my ranch with a big fist. And I think there was an American flag included. And I want my ashes shot out of the cannon. So people nice. like Bill Murray, um, Johnny Depp, other people that had known him for years were all there. And they paid, they put the money in to pay for the cannon to, so that Hunter S. Thompson she could, be, could be shot out of a cannon with fireworks. <laughs> That's amazing. That's, I, like, I like that way, going out. That's, I don't want to be yeah. buried. What do I, you know, I don't care. I don't need to take up more land. You know, somebody's going to have to live there one day. Who wants to live on right. top of my grave? Right. <laughs> Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Oh, that's awesome. So, so you know, what? Let's move on with the question because uh, okay. otherwise we're going to sit here and talk about Hunter S. Thompson for like six hours. I I could but, do it forever. I'm sorry. Right. That's <laughs> no, all right. I have to but stop what, saying. Uh, yeah, stop apologizing. What are you Canadian? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that all about? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm terrible. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm okay. Sorry. All right, so moving on. <laughs> All right, so you're given a superpower. What's the, what, what's the superpower and what's the first thing you do with it? I would want to do, I would want to time travel. I know exactly what I would do. I want to time, time travel. Time and space or just time? Because time. just time gets rough. Yeah. Well, I'm saying, so the earth revolves around the sun and if you, you know, if you don't pick an, a, exactly 365-ish days, you're not going to land back on the Earth if you just come back in, in the same exact spot, spot in time. Not to mention you can then ca calculate in the rotation of the Milky okay. Way galaxy. I'm, I'm if you really want to get specific about it. <laughs> no, I just want to, I want to be able to time travel to any place in time in the world that I want. Hey, yeah. And I, I would go back and I would be... At that place in time that I've felt like I should have been. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't everybody kind of have, God, if I, if I could just go back in time and be there at that place in time. And so that's oh, the sure, thing no, that kind that's the thing that kind of haunts me. But, you know, honestly, actually, I, you know, I, I feel like that's kind of a selfish answer, and so my other answer would be I would want invisibility, and then I would go and rob a bank and then give all the money to the poor. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to say, because the first part of that sounds awful selfish, but, you know. <laughs> it is. It is. I don't know. It, I would be and torn. Minus be some torn. for operating expenses. <laughs> because I feel like if I were able to go back and correct time, then I would be wealthy enough to give a lot of money to the poor. So, I don't yeah, so know. Yeah, you can do, yeah, play it off that way, too. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever lets you sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Thank you. A, so, what, do you, what are you wasting your time on for gaming these days? What little time I'm sure you have to waste. You know, I have really stopped playing games lately, but uh, just very recently. So, when I saw this question, I thought, gosh, uh, Great timing, because I've actually started finally to play The Walking Dead Telltale. I oh. just felt like I never had time, and so I nag the crap out of Brian Brushwood to play the game so I don't have to. Yeah, so you can just watch him do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah at my leisure. Um, but I started playing it, uh, and now I'm getting through that 400 days um, bit, and... Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get myself ready to do the season two. And the only reason I do that is because I've been doing a fan cast, uh, very unofficial, with um, Mega Vortex, Tom Alongbon, and Ev Lloyd from Chat Realm, um, called The Walking Drunk, where we all share a beer and then we um, talk the show through. But, I mean, we've been, like, it's been just kind of us hanging, doing a hangout and occasionally sure. posting it. But uh, we'll probably get started up and, and do something a little bit more serious in the fall when the show comes back. Um, I'm not a big fan of the show. 
Actually, I say constantly how I hate the show, but I um, the show. but I like talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, so the concept is great, but I got really upset with like just the acting and the the, the way they told the story. It just uh, got boring. Oh, and you know I, that's and I can't... why. That's why I like talking about it on a fan cast because there's so much to bitch about. <laughs> 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 they totally screwed up everything. So oh, it's yeah. fun for me to get angry and talk about a show like that. So well, yeah, um, I, I quit watching about the time Brian did. And when, yeah. when I, and then I, ca- I kind of, I followed along. I was like, okay, w- with cord killers, you know, and I was like, when, when Tom says to come back to Brian, that's when I'll come back too. And yeah. cause it was right about the same time when, you know, I think like the week before I said to my wife, I'm like, do you even want to watch this show anymore? <laughs> and she, she's like, no, not really. I'm like, okay. And then, like, that week, Brian said, like, the same thing. And he's like, so tell me when to come back. I'm like, okay, this works out. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And then Tom was like, no. Don't. Just, right. Just no. <laughs> I've, I've been saying the same thing. I've been saying the same. I think that the last season, season four, was a little bit better. It got good towards the end of the mid-season finale. Uh, but the, the final season finale of season four that happened, you know, months ago, um, made me so angry i wanted to punch a zombie in the face i really <laughs> just i was so upset by it i i was insulted you know i felt like you know they just anyways but yeah uh other game i want to mention very quickly because you say games uh this is not a video sure. game but um i absolutely enjoyed uh justin rubber young and john teasdale's who does nobody like um, which is, yeah, I don't know if any oh, of you yeah, remember that. Play that. Oh, yeah. so good. We, well, we've got to arrange something sometime because we got, uh, several of us from chat realm. Uh, I know Seb Guns, Andrew Mays, um, several other people. We were all in chat. We got Justin Robert Young in and we played the game. And I, Justin said that when you walk away from the game, you end up hating each other. And I yeah. said to him, you know what? When we walked away from the game, I think we all ended up loving each other more. But I don't know. <laughs> I think some people were really offended. So I don't know. I have no clue. But yeah, I would mention uh, that. But that's not a video game. No, that's the so. still works in. I, I did say just game. So I, I, I actually like okay. that that you picked okay. something that's non, <laughs> non-video. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so all right. Last of these standard questions and, and another one that I think tells a lot about you. Uh, is if you could move to any planet, real or fictional, whatever, what planet would it be, and what what would your house look like? See, I didn't know that you were going to say fictional, because um, I would have just said, I'd like to stay here on Earth, and I'd like to have a glass house that looks over <laughs> the rocky a rocky po- portion of the Pacific Ocean, because it's, like, one of my favorite spots. But, um, you know, oh, yeah. I would say fictional... Uh, so then I started thinking about it. I was like, well, maybe I can use a fictional world. And I would say uh, Yavin from Star Wars or uh, Tatooine. Which and one is only, Yavin? Yavin, I don't, I don't, like, I can't really pinpoint it in the story off the cuff, but I used to play um, Star Wars Galaxies, the MMORPG. Um, oh, okay. The pre- yeah, uh, with my former um, fiancé. And... He and I shared, you could get houses, and uh, and so we had a house, we had all this stuff, and we were so proud of it. And I had to play the game in order to get, maintain my relationship with him, because he was playing it so much. <laughs> so, um, but Yavin was always, like, the really scary place. And he'd be like, okay, oh, okay. we gotta go on a mission tonight. It's to Yavin. And I would go, oh, no, not Yavin. I can't handle not Yavin. Yavin. <laughs> it's the place where there were like vampires or something. Um, it was really scary. Um, and then otherwise I would say uh, Tatooine because that's the house that we had where we had all the like good stuff, you know, <laughs> the story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just for that. Oh, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> no, I'd rather stay here on Earth. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I would rather live in future Earth, you know, like Futurama. If I could live in Futurama Earth, I think I'd be I'd be all right. 
<laughs> you know? it, a future Rama Earth in the, in the sense that everything is resolved and fixed because I'm scared of future Earth. It scares me constantly. Um, well, no, I, de I, mean I definitely do in Futurama. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I I don't I I'm scared of uh Earth as it is right now, so you know. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, but. I'm not scared of Earth. I'm scared of the people that live here. <laughs> well, that's what I that, that's exactly what I mean. But yes, correct. <laughs> Oh, or how about a water world, um, uh, Kevin Coster <laughs> type oh, yeah. world? Yeah, you can live in that in that future. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so uh, but you yeah. showed at the beginning of the show some of your um, some of your puppets, or actually, I should say pre-show some of your puppets. So pre -show. how do you make? Uh -huh. Yeah, pre-show. How do I how do I make it? Very yeah. very easy. Okay, this actually Justin's hair has fallen apart. He's now become yeah. Rick James. Rick I'm Rick James. James, bitch! And then as you can tell what? from his <laughs> beard, cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> no, actually, I tried to paint in white to make him gray. Like, I tried to, like, progressively make more gray. Okay, so, um, I, it's, they're sock puppets, and I don't know how many of you are familiar with, um, Liam Lynch, Lynchland, uh, the Sifl and Ollie series, um, a master, total master. Uh, you know, he worked with Tenacious D, another big group fan of, you know, the thing that I'm a fan of. Um, and he did sock puppets where, you know, it used to be on MTV. It was before, it, when I read stories, they talk about how MTV would say, uh, we have no idea what this is, but, you know, we'll, we're going to let him have the show. And it wasn't <laughs> until MTV kind of caught up on it. It was like, oh, we could have... We could have reality shows about 16-year-olds getting pregnant. I'm sorry, Liam Lynch. Your awesome puppet show is canceled. Um, so, but it's kind of, you know, I started doing this when um, uh, uh, the, the Night Attack 2 was about to come out. Brian and Justin were recording. They were recording the PSA live on Justin TV. And they were, you know, the don't drink and text while driving. And right. I had just gotten in a car accident that prevented me from going to South by Southwest. And uh, Brian uh, and Justin recorded this. And, you know, I was so depressed, but I, I was like, I can't go to South by. Uh, it was going to be my first Diamond Club event. And I heard this, and I just totally heard Syphil and Ollie. And I was like, I could make a pu puppet video of this. I didn't. It boosted my spirits. Um, it's, you know, it, it's it's a thing that I do to kind of escape, like, the nonsense of it's the real therapy. world. And Yeah, absolutely it is. And I love when people say that they like it. I don't expect everyone to like it. And some of them actually really suck. Some of them <laughs> I've, like, rushed on and I tried to get done very quickly and I didn't take the time with it. But, you know, uh, yeah, it's just basic suck. I use a men's no nonsense sock, which is crazy because it's total nonsense. And then I put, <laughs> I put pantyhose on top and googly eyes and, you know, all that stuff. And take like a t-shirt that I have and cut the sleeve and then put the sleeve on and then paint a design. Um, and then the other process is that I have to listen to the Night Attack, Night Attack al tracks over and over and over oh, yeah. until I feel like I have it totally memorized. I put it in my car. I listen to it as I'm driving. So I listen to these like a million times before I start doing it, the, the hand stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, so, but it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a great escape. Uh, it's better than sitting yeah. around feeling sorry for yourself. Oh yeah, well, and even the terrible ones are great. You know, like Shud says, it, it's gotta pass that uncanny valley of just pretending to be terrible and then actually be terrible to be great you know? right well i never claim that there are art like i never claim that they, <laughs> I, I think that i i think that they one of the things that i reach out or try to to get across is that it's very crude it's and because that's that's kind of the tradition of uh, syphil and ollie that they they are just these regulars his socks are just basic socks with eyeballs and a nose and right. you know yeah, Painted. Right. So I, you know, I, 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 I think that's the point is to kind of make fun of myself um, because that's what comedy is about is making fun of yourself. Oh, yeah. So. Definitely.
So yeah, speaking of Night Attack albums too, like damn, I've set these questions up good today. <laughs> what's your What's your favorite Night Attack album? Uh, Night Attack uh, to Enjoy the Garden will obviously always live in my heart because that's the one that kind of just gave me a kind of a purpose and and I I, I started because I did the PSA and the uh, Animal Fairy. Um, however, okay. I will say that this next album, the Night Attack 3, um, I have been very fortunate that Brian and Justin have been willing to share some of the tracks with me so that I could kind of judge what would be um, good puppet videos. Because yeah. I what I would really like to see, and we'll have to talk more with Spearmint Nitrate, is a full album of either, whether it's puppet or animation, but have the whole album turned into a visual uh, project uh, or, you know, so that you can watch it track by track. But some oh, yeah. tracks on their album are not puppet worthy. I mean, or not, I shouldn't say worthy. They just wouldn't make sense. They wouldn't be yeah, as puppet funny. conducive. <laughs> right. Yeah. But they are far more hilarious if it's animation. Uh, some of them, <laughs> right. I think, I think, you know, having the puppets makes more sense. So hopefully I can work, I'll be working with him in kind of deciding those, or maybe it's just going to happen organically. And uh, and we'll have that the, the next album done, because the thing I want to say about the next album in the bits that I've heard, because I know that they're going to be recording more and doing more things, and it's probably on hold, apparently, until after Brian gets off his vacation, um, mm -hmm. is that... Uh, the, there are some tracks, what I love and what I think is great about Brian and Justin is their ability to be completely 1000% honest with their comedy, because that's what comedy is about, is being honest and, and, and telling the stories that oh, yeah. you would never want your mother to hear, you know, yeah. and they do such a good job of it. And in this album, Brian has several tracks that I've heard that. It just floored me. I mean, I I needed to wear adult diapers to be able to get through <laughs> the track because they're so funny. Um, I'm kidding. Nice. I, I don't wear adult, <laughs> but but yeah. <laughs> so I would I would say that they're progressing with each one of these, and I can't wait to see what, what's going to come with the next one. Yeah, I was I laughed really hard when the Belmont tapes came out, so I can only yeah. imagine what they have coming up for three. <laughs> bonus, bonus. We have Veronica Belmont. Right, exactly, exactly. So, you can't, you can't yeah. go wrong with a little Belmont. <laughs> right. So in so, 2013, yeah. you got the Chat Realmer of the Year Award. I know. Uh, who would you like to thank for it? I know you never really got to give us a speech, so, so this, is, this is your chance. And then I'll, I, yeah, know, maybe I get, we'll play I you out with music if you get too long. <laughs> Yeah, perfect. I basically did that. I what, The speech I gave was the Sally Fields uh, speech. And right now, in this moment, you like me. You really <laughs> like me. But um, no, I, I, that, that's so silly. Um, but what I do love about those chat room awards is all of the other projects. Because they're, it's a way for people to get more exposure for their own individual projects. Like, What's the best book from Chat Realm? Um, what's the best video? Uh, best um, podcast? Best new coming podcast? Those are the serious categories. The one that I got was nonsense. Um, <laughs> who would I think? Um, I, I, I have no clue, and I, I was embarrassed. But I would think T two T two foremost uh, because. If it wasn't for T2T2 and Roberto Villegas for putting that together, we wouldn't have that little fun moment where we all get oh, yeah. to vote on it. So bottom line, that's what I would say. But what I do enjoy about this is that it will now give people, um, it, you know, in the, from every year, a, a chance to kind of be spotlighted because... Uh, you know, next year, I kind of imagine someone like um, Seb Gons, who's given us all these great stickers and T-shirts. Um, somebody oh, yeah. like, um, you know, Spearmint Nitrate uh, definitely would be in the running for sure. And uh, T2T2 for the chat, right. the chat realm that we all rely on. Like, 
I will be upset if I'm even nominated. I, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna call in the Lyndon Johnson thing. I do not seek nor will I accept the nomination. I mean, I'm out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> um, let, let's let's give it to these people and including yourself because I I'm really enjoying your podcast so far and I oh, well, I think you. it's a a no, any way bottom line uh, you know people might believe me or not but bottom line what I care about most is finding ways for us to promote, collaborate, and, you know, just support one another on our creative projects because I think that is what Diamond Club is about. And I've said this to Brian and Justin all along that it's not about you anymore. It's about all of these creative people that that um, make so many wonderful things. Well, thank you. I'm glad you, you like my stuff. I just, I kind of selfish reasons. I want to meet some of these people too, so. You know. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's amazing. Um, do you have anything else to to plug? I know you've got a website, and you're talking to do some stuff on British Tech Network and stuff. And yeah, um, I'm doing I'm doing uh, various podcasts. I'm doing one with DJ um, uh, called No Hope for Humanity that we do every other Saturday, just where we talk about um, silly news stories. Um, uh, and then uh, you know some of the other ones I've done are on hold because of the shows uh, like uh, The Walking Drunk. Um, and but yeah, right now I'm doing the British Tech Network um, with Ewan Rankin. He's allowed uh, Roberto Viegas, myself, and an awesome political journalist uh, from the UK, Charlotte Henry. Um, we've been recording um, a, a fan cast of uh, House of Cards, and oh, um, amazing! It's called the House of Cards Show, and y if you go to his website, uh, you'll you'll find it there. And the shows are not posted yet, but we just out and they should post it soon but unless you watch house of cards there's no reason really. no, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no that's great and uh of course there's jackiehearn.com i imagine you keep up with most of the stuff on there yeah oh one last thing i'm going to plug somebody else uh nesh Bomb, his kickstarter uh you guys i'll give you the insight here you may very well see um pretty soon a puppet uh Captain Morgan, red, red, red wine video. Oh, very soon. that would be amazing. And it's <laughs> going to come through Meshcom's website and his uh, YouTube. It's something I'm totally just going to hand to him if he wants to use it. And just to help get his goal. He's so close to getting the goal that he needs to get his uh, album mixed. Um, so, no, I, I would just please, please, please support, support the real artist. I'm nothing. I'm, I'm, I call myself the geek cheerleader. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do an excellent job at that. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll uh, that's all the questions I have for you. So okay. we'll let the elevator play us out, I suppose. It's been great talking okay. to you. Thank you so much for joining me. We've had a few little Thank connection you. hiccups, but otherwise pretty decent so far, it seems. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's nope. been an honor. No, I'm fine. Well, yes. Yes, it has. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if I can get this to work again. It's my, my ghetto setup here. There we go.